Today, I signed one Nigerian onto Crystal Palace or Champions League winners. Yes, boys, it's going to be pretty difficult considering they couldn't even make it to the World Cup. You serious? But yes, boys, like I mentioned, we will be using Crystal Palace in this video and try to win the Champions League. All right, boys, you guys may be wondering, who can we sign in this video? Well, boys, as long as they're Nigerian and FIFA, we can go ahead and sign them. And boys, there are only two rules for this video. Sign one Nigerian per season, and if we have any Nigerians in the squad, they have to play. Simple. And well, boys, Crystal Palace have no Nigerians, so we're good on that rule. Okay, boys, for the first season, we do have 36.61 million. The cheat engine is not allowed for a billion dollars in this video. And like I said, boys, this video cannot end until Crystal Palace and the Nigerians win the ultimate prize in the Champions League. But before we do start this video, only 20% of you guys are subscribed while the other 79% are not subscribed so go ahead and subscribe man if you guys want nigeria to be in the next world cup you guys have to subscribe i'm sorry those are the rules but anyways boys let's get started let's see what nigeria we're gonna sign for the first season okay boys the first player i'm gonna sign from nigeria it is going to be kelechi ianacho kelechi has not reached the heights that everybody thought he would so you know what in this video we're gonna turn his career around and take him there okay boys 24 million has brought in kelechi ianacho to the side i'm pretty sure he'll score at least 10 goals this season okay boys it's time to add a development plan to Kelechi Iheanacho. Leave your predictions down below. How many seasons do you think it will take for us to win the Champions League? Okay, boys, it's the end of season one. Let's see how this Crystal Palace side did in this first season. Okay, boys, Kelechi took him to a tenth place. You know what? It's not too bad. We didn't relegate. We can do better, though. As for the FA and Carabao Cup, we're not in any other competition. Let's check Chelsea win it. Carabao Cup and... Ooh, no. Nah, Burr... Bro, what is with Burnley winning stuff in my videos, man? Okay, boys, we don't care about anyone in the side, but Kelechi Iheanacho, he did go up a plus four to an 82 rated. Hopefully, that means he scored a couple of goals. Okay, boys, my prediction are at least 12 goals in the season. Let's go ahead and check. And 16 goals. You know what? That is better than I expected. Okay, boys, it's safe to say Kelechi shined in his first season. Let's see what Nigerian we could bring in in season number two. <laughs> Okay, boys, season number two has given us a whopping 64 million. We might not even use all of it, man. Okay, boys, you know, in all of these videos, we have to at least send a goalkeeper to be okay in the whole video. And today's Nigerian goalkeeper will be Maduka Okoye from Watford. He is now at a 77 rated. He has a pretty decent potential, so let's go ahead and sign him up, and we should be stacked for the rest of the video. Okay, boys, 26 million has brought Okoye to the side. We should be safe with the goalkeeper position for the rest of the video. You guys know the drill. Let me add some development plans, and then we're going to sim to the next season. I'll see y'all there. Boys, what? Season number two has brought us fourth place already. How is this? How is this happening, man? This might be the fastest video I've ever recorded. Okay, boys, let's go ahead and check the FA Cup because there's no way we won it, right? And FA Cup and we have won it. How, boys? How? Why couldn't they do this in the World Cup, the Nigerians? Leave me alone. Oh, boys, Carabao Cup. There's no way we got a double, right? Carabao Cup and we've reached the final, but we lost to Leicester. What an amazing season, man. Well, boys, I guess we have Champions League football already. Boys, Ian Nacho is now at an 85 rating. That is insane. Okoye went up a plus two, not too bad, a 79. But, boys, with only two Nigerians in the side, we've actually got in Champions League football already. But, boys, let's go ahead and check the stats. Okoye did get 16 clean sheets. That's actually very good. As for goals, Ian Nacho, did he beat his 16 goal output from last season and 34 goals no wonder we're in the champions league man that is absolutely insane 34 goals from him that is outstanding bro but boys it was an amazing season this year let's see what nigerian can help us maybe even possibly win the champions league next year Boy, season number three has given us 159 million to work with. I know who we have to sign, man. Okay, boys, I know we already have a striker, but we have to bring in the best Nigerian in game in Victor Osiman. Okay, boys, we have changed the formation to fit Osiman, and for 130 million, we have brought him in. We now have an 87 rated striker and another 85 rated. Oh my god, the time music could be ours this season. Yeah, baby. Okay, boys, I'm very excited to see what this season has in store for us. I'll go ahead and see you guys at the end of the season. Okay, boys, it's right back down to earth, and season number three, we finished in eight place but you know what i'm still proud of this team okay as for the community shield we did participate did we win and yes we have beaten tottenham fa cup did we win it back to back no boys Carabao cup come on did we somehow win that and no we lost in the final again man as for the champions league boys we were in group eight did we somehow got out of the group i sincerely doubt it and first place with a group with juventus and benfica on a 16 i'm pretty sure we lost there though and no we beat roma okay we're in the quarters okay we of course we lost to psg 5-1 but boys it was a beautiful run in the champions league let's see how the team did boys look at our front two ianacho at an 88 aussie man at a 90 and okoye is now at an 84 slowly becoming a world-class keeper okay boys the question is who was top goal scorer was it ianacho or was it aussie man but okoye did get 13 clean sheets which is not too bad top goal scorer was and ianacho with 28 goals aussie man right behind with 26 it's another brilliant season. We did go back down to earth, but you know what? It's okay. We improve next season. 
Okay, okay boys, season number four, and we have another 157 million. I'm going for a Didi, man. At this point, I'm not even gonna hype it up. I'm gonna go for him. Okay, boys, we're gonna go ahead and side Wilfred and Didi. Okay, boys, 126 million has brought Wilfred and Didi to the side. Okay, boys, let's go ahead and see if we can qualify for Champions League football once again. Boys, what is going on with this video? Season number four, and we got first place. Last year, we were in eighth place. How is this going on, man? But anyways, boys, let's check the other competitions. FA Cup, did we somehow win it? And no, okay. Carabao Cup, can we finally win it? And ooh, nah, yeah. Okay, boys, we were in the conference league. Did we somehow win that? Because we don't really care about it too much. And no, boys, we lost in the final to Monaco. Boys, I just cannot believe what is going on in this video. Boys, Ian is officially a 90 rated, while Austin Man is now at a 93. And Didi is one of the 90 as well. Shout out to Okoya as well. I did not expect him to grow this much. He is now at an 88. Okay, boys, let's go ahead and see who got top goal scorer. Is it Ian Acho for third season in a row? Okoya with 12 clean sheets. Pretty decent. Let's see who is the top goal scorer. And 24 goals for Austin Man. He beat Ian Acho by one goal. Shout out to Indeed as well five goals and one assist and Ian Nacho obviously scored 23 but boys this video so far has been all over the place let's see if season five could be the dream season okay boys season number five gives us a 170 million i don't even know any more nigerians bro actually boys there's one more nigerian that comes to mind and it is samuel chukwezi we're gonna go ahead and try to trade olise because olise we don't want him in the squad we want chukwezi okay boys for 86 million and olise we have brought in samuel chukwezi we are now up to five nigerians in the squad can this be the season we win the champions league season number five and we miss out on the title by five points but still yet a good season okay boys community shield did we win it and no liverpool have won it epic cup and carabao can we win some of them and no arsenal win the FA cup and carabao cup we won it let's go finally as for the champions league boys then we go ahead and pass through our group we're in group c and first place right in front of atletico napoli and whatever that team is round of 16 boys let's go ahead and see how we did and please tell me we won we beat leverkusen quarters we beat Villarreal, boys. We're in the semis for the first time ever, and we lost to Madrid, man. Oh, my God. And, boys, this squad just does not stop growing, man. 91 Ian Nacho, 94 Aussie, man. Chukwezi at an 88, and Didi now at a 91. And finally, Okoye now at a 91. We have to win the Champions League next year. Okay, boys, let's go ahead and check the top goal score. My predictions, it is going to be Ian Nacho, okay? I know Aussie man won it last year, but I believe in Ian Nacho. Okoye did get 10 clean cheese, though. Kind of ass. Okay, boys, who is the top goal score? And 31 goals for Aussie man and Ian Nacho. So, technically, I was right they tied in goals which is weird to see though chuck Wazy with a good first season with 18 goals is not too bad shout out to indeedy once again four goals and one assist is actually amazing for a cdn okay boy season number five wasn't it but i'm sure season number six will bring us a champions league victory okay boy season number six seasons with 235 million at this point there aren't many nigerian superstars left okay boys it took me a while to think of another nigerian and i'm gonna go ahead and go for emmanuel dennis let's hope he does well here okay boys we have paid 56 million for emmanuel dennis in his release clause to sign him up okay boys but this has to be the year i know not everyone's nigerian but you know what it's not gonna take us 11 seasons to win it hopefully okay boys season number six has brought us to fourth place not a good season but as long as we're in the Champions League, that's all that matters man FA cup and carabao cup did we somehow win one FA cup was won by tonham and carabao cup was won by Liverpool. Okay, boys, Champions League time. Please tell me we won it this year. We do not want to go another season because there are no more Nigerians left to sign that are pretty good. So, Group D. Okay, boys, we're in first place. That's a good sign. Round 16. We beat Milan 4 1. Quarters. We beat Man City 7 2. Boys, that's actually insane. Semis. We beat PSG. And you guys have, you guys know what I always say in my videos. If we beat PSG, that's a guaranteed dub. I'm putting my controller down. And it's going to be a... Let's go, boys. I caught it. I told you guys. Every time we beat PSG, we win the Champions League. When you beat the best team in the world, you have to win the whole competition, man. It only took us six seasons, but we have signed enough Nigerians to help us win the Champions League. And boys, just take a look at the side. 92 Iheanacho, 95 Aussie, man. 91 Chagwezi, 87 Dennis. He actually grew, man. 92 Ndidi, and finally 92 Okoye. But boys, amazing scenes. The question is, who is going to be the top goal scorer for the last time oc man has won it twice and ian has won it twice or three times i do believe let's go ahead and go to stats okoye nine clean sheets that's actually pretty bad top goal scorer was oc man with 39 goals and ian nacho had no chance with 26 but boys that is the end of today's video i hope you guys did enjoy we signed one nigerian every season until crystal palace won the champions league make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy we're trying to reach 3k as soon as possible man if you guys have not checked out my last video make sure to check it out i let sean dyke choose my foot draft kinda